Scotland. Even if you've forgotten the face, you can never forget the navel. It's Katie Morgan who really like getting her teeth into a part. It's not always fun and glamour. The commercial for which I'm probably most remembered still, and probably my worst paid commercial, I had an accident and I fell down some stairs from the second story and broke my front teeth, it cost me $900 to have them fixed and the commercial paid $60 and people still remember me for the commercial. The 4711 one was um, sort of um, implied nudity behind a shower screen and we used Cointreau instead of water just for the effect. It um, has a Apparently it's the visual effects much nicer. So we used bottles and bottles of Cointreau instead of water and when it was all over we still had about two bottles of Cointreau left. <laughs> Recognise this yeah. voice. Where does the other end go? It goes out to the country. Give up? It's American comedian Stan Freiberg. But we've bred some pretty famous local voices over the years too. For backache, lumbago and rheumatism, take menthides. M-E-N-T-H-O-I-D-S. Menthoids. Nestle's Quick is like a big chocolatey vitamin pill. Drink it, Freddy. Drink it. Drink it! I played the part of a German panzer, tank commander. Can't think of his name now. But it involved driving this small American half-track, I think they call them, across the sand hills out here in uh, La Perouse. You leave me, boy. How much you give me on good chairman, Martin? One memorable moment was when we took the half-track for a, a ride over the hills and uh, in full German rig-out, machine guns, the whole, the whole caboodle, swastika and all, and uh, ran straight into a group of nuns. I take menthoids for backache, rheumatic or muscular pain. Only 150 pounds. And, I mean, rates weren't very high then. In television and at that time it was okay but it was the continuous use of it and when I heard in New Zealand that it was still being played I couldn't believe it anyway I saw the old chap that ran it when I was in Perth had morning tea with him in the hopes that he might see fit to give me a bonus he was a very nice man I had a very entertaining morning with him and so forth and he said when we came to it and he said I believe you're not very happy about your fee going on all the time you know, with us using it like that and I said no I'm not so I said oh well you know Mr. Pim a bargain's a bargain and I always keep me bargains and that was the bargain we made we find it easier to swallow an ad when it's sugar coated with humour I'm talking about intentional humour not ads where hilarity is a consequence of incompetence let's look at a smorgasbord of funny bits you're about to meet a character called Fred Dagg, who can best be described as New Zealand's Norman Gunston, in a couple of Qantas commercials made for New Zealand. You'll see how brilliantly he succeeded. You got your togs on? Cracker. Uh, yeah, good day. Do you reckon you could uh, direct me to the actual uh, sea? Oh, beauty. Funny looking couple of blokes. Still very helpful. They're travelling on business or pleasure, mate. Ah, returning home, mate. Oh, you're an ochre then? Yeah. Oh, cracker service. Yeah, I thought you might have been. You've got that uh, look about you. You reckon? How about yourself? Business or pleasure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Garkon, uh, can I please have uh, another couple of half dozens, or make it a dozen, and a plate full of gum leaves for me cobber? Will that do you? Fantastic. Goody. And uh, can you open the window? Memories, memories. This is Victoria Quilter, the girl whose soft drink ads resulted in a record number of complaints to the control board. But it's an ill win, Victoria got lots more ads and a TV drama contract, while her younger sister Joanna now fronts the latest Big M commercials. The RC Cola one, I recall, was one that produced a tremendous amount of complaint. Obviously the, the RC had a religious connection as well, and when that was combined with pretty girls scantily clad and so on, it seemed to provoke a tremendous reaction. He was feeling dry, wouldn't you or I, as she smiled in mysterious smile. She dropped her pants. Frankly, I was shocked when the Roman Catholic Church launched RC Cola, and so was the author of this letter. I wish to complain about the RC commercial. It showed a girl wearing a wrapping which was taken off by a boy showing her frontal top nudity. Uh, well, it wasn't. <laughs> um, it was very discreetly done. It was my back. 
Uh, it would have, I mean, I was, like I said, I was 18, it was my first dad, I wouldn't have let anything drastic happen. I still don't do topless. She dropped her pants and she started to dance to a tune that just drove him wild. I have mixed feelings. Sometimes I get desperately liberated and think, oh yes, I shouldn't really be doing these things because I get abused by women libbers a lot. And other times I think, well, it's me. Um, I mean, it just is me as far as I'm concerned and it doesn't really worry me. I see, oh, love, it's right for me, it was right for me. 